I'll never forget. It's like a first date, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your boy here joel mogisha and today we are going to give you guys a tour of kichukiro niboye so guys this is one of the neighborhoods here in uh, kigali rwanda i've been taking you on a tour of most of the neighborhoods here in kigali rwanda and we are in Kichukiro Niboye. I'm gonna be showing you guys around. So if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, drop a comment, show me some love, and uh, let's take a tour of this nice video. Let's go. Can you introduce your, your channel? Hi guys, my good name is uh, Gracie D on YouTube, your African diva. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are here uh, with Joel in Rwanda, trying to make content for you guys. So you better subscribe. Yeah guys, we are making content for you and it's raining actually. It's raining, Can guys. you see that? Oh God. It's the raining. The struggles that we go through. These are the struggles of content creators. It's actually, the rainy season in Kigali right now yeah. and uh, you can see how gloomy the day is but uh, we have to deliver this content for you so guys uh, you know keep watching as uh, we continue through this journey oh the lighting is nice over here actually oh yeah, <laughs> yeah guys please subscribe imagine I'm being rained on just for content and you yeah. guys will watch and not subscribe yeah. you're not serious you should subscribe as we bring new one of the best neighborhoods that you know they have in Kisukiro district. Yeah. I'm taking this guy around his country. <laughs> yeah, actually, can you believe, guys? She's taking me around in uh, Kigali, Rwanda. Because I didn't know this neighborhood. Uh, apparently, she knows. Yeah. So she's been filming around as uh, we give you this tour of uh, Kichukiro neighborhood. You can see how green it is. Yeah. And uh, we are somewhere at a, at a hotel right yeah. here. It's so like we are. Restaurant Stroka Bar or something. Stroka Bar, right? Yeah. So we are going to wait the rain out. Hopefully it's gonna pass because it's still early and then we're gonna finish we're gonna finish this video. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> place and I wanted to showcase this uh, because in many African countries we don't have these laws. You can see like uh, here we have a sign which shows uh, the letter P and uh, a bus and a car. This is like uh, a bus stop. If you are in Rwanda and you want to take a bus, you should be at a bus stop and also if the, the bus wants to drop you anywhere in Kigali, it should drop you at a bus stop. So the bus just can't leave you anywhere, like in many countries in Africa. In Kigali, people and traffic, you have to follow rules actually. So if you, are, you want to alight, you have to know your bus stop in your neighborhood. So like this neighborhood, like this street, this is the bus stop for the street. So guys, you can see like, you know, we have a bus stop for this, this neighborhood and uh, you can see how clean it is. Guys, can you believe? that it was just raining actually. Look at how the street is already dry. It was raining. Come and show them this. This is a nice thing to showcase. You know, when you want to, sh to, to actually know how clean a country is, look at the gutter. <laughs> Guys, look at this gutter, man. It is super clean actually. Very, very clean, you know. 
and the streets are clean. The only thing in the street is just the leaves, you know, the shedding of the leaves and all that. But you can't find any kind of garbage or, you know, things that can make a country be, be dirty. So Kigali is clean everywhere that you go, even any places that you can go in Kigali. It's very clean. One of the things that helps Kigali to be clean is because we don't use plastic bags. Because plastic bags are done by biodegradable uh, uh, things that, you know, just dirty around the place and all that stuff. But here, when you buy anything in a supermarket, they give you in an envelope. And that envelope, even if you put it in the garbage, is going to biodegrade. So it keeps the city being clean. So you can enjoy this tour as we take you around the Kichukiro neighborhood. Kichukiro Niboe. Guys, this is uh, like a street here in Kichukiro, Niboe, and uh, you can see how it looks. The only things that are, you know, on the ground and making the ground dirty is only the leaves. And uh, one thing about Kigali, as you all know, I've seen, I've been showing you guys, is how they label the houses with. Uh, numbers on the streets so you can see how clean it is it looks nice and looks amazing actually it was raining but now it's not raining anymore at least the sun is out and uh, you can see the sun is shining on me and uh, we are taking you on a tour of this neighborhood of Kichukiro Niboye you know and we are showing you around Kigali Rwanda as you all know it's my my mission guys to take you in most of the neighborhoods here in Kigali, Rwanda and uh, I'm gonna be showing you around you know the places that I can so that you guys can see how Rwanda looks like yeah The sun is out. Guys, yeah. we are here again with uh, Miss Gracie D. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're looking good. Oh, it's the sun. <laughs> I'm sun kissed, guys. That's the good thing about Kigali. It was uh, just raining. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then now it's rained for like almost 30 minutes, let's yeah. say, right? Yeah. And now the sun is out. Yeah. And we're happy. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah. They, I'm like, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm wearing my white guys, shoes. Guys, you can see even the road. The yeah. road is actually wet. Very well. I'm wearing my white shoes. Ah. When I say Kigali is clean, guys, you can see my shoes. They don't have mud because there's no mud in this area that we are walking in. Of course, I know there are other. Sorry about that. Yeah. Of course, I know there are other places in Kigali that are not all tarmac. Yeah. But in this specific neighborhood that we are working in, yeah. there is no mud when it rains, guys. But I've been I've been telling my viewers actually, yeah. most of the places in Kigali, they are very well actually paved. The streets we can are say paved. Like ninety percent. Yeah, ninety percent of, of the city, guys. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. paved. The streets are like this actually, with a sidewalk for pedestrians. Yeah. So you don't have to hustle with the cars and all that stuff. And uh, as you are saying, one of the good things I like about the weather in Kigali is that when it rains, it just rains, and when it finishes, the sun the just sun comes out. Because comes out I, was, I was feeling a little bit disappointed. Today yeah. we were supposed to meet a bit earlier, but I got late. As always. Yeah. African time. <laughs> yeah, so you I remember, was feeling disappointed. You remember what you did to me in Nairobi? Guys, the first time I was supposed to meet him for a collab. Yeah. We were supposed to meet like at around one, uh -huh. but I think I got there almost four. Like, 
before. Yeah, I had Sorry, to at that time it's because I was living somewhere very far. Mm. But I don't have any, any excuse. I'm sorry. By the way, guys, as she was saying, she's actually the girl who gave me her the first collabo on this channel. Aww. <laughs> that I'll never forget. It's like a first date, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. You know, he he yeah. also like he don't know, but in a way, he also motivated me to get more serious on my YouTube channel, doing my videos. Because yeah. when I met him, like the first time he texted me, mm -hmm. he had not started his, his channel yet. Yeah, true, true, true. So he told me, you know, you motivate me a lot. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, guys, I didn't know I can motivate someone out there. I was just doing content because yeah. I love traveling. And I was like, you know, want to show the positive side of Africa. Mm. I didn't know that. At that, that time, you were traveling actually in my city, in Kigali, Rwanda. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, that is how I discovered you because I follow a lot mm -hmm. about Kigali, about Rwanda when I'm away, yeah. when I'm in places like Nairobi. Yeah. yeah, so I keep on following. And then I was seeing your channel, you are doing good actually, good videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought to myself, man, I, I always travel from Nairobi to Kigali, Kigali to yeah. Bujumbura to Kigali, mm -hmm. to Rwanda to then Nairobi. I, I said, uh, man, I can do this. <laughs> Yes, at first I thought he's one of these yeah. guys that always like, you know, go to girls' pages on Instagram uh -huh. and, and just want to, you know, and just so want to be silly <laughs> and everything else. So, so at what first is, I what was... is wrong with uh, maybe if, if, if it was the opposite, mm -hmm. maybe it wasn't about uh, content. content and I was just shooting my shot, would that, would that have been wrong? Yes, because I feel like why would you like text me you want us like i love your channel you, uh, you want us to meet for a collab no that's blah, a nice blah, blah. but <laughs> no i mean just be a man and go straight to the point say what you want no, 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 no. <laughs> if i if i go straight to the point i'll scare you off that is how you you women are you don't like straight up no, conversation I, I, I don't like men who yeah. likes using corners yeah. just go straight to the point what you want. Are you sure? Yeah. Because women, we like, we tend to say one thing, but we like the other. I'm so right I'm now, raised. right now on video, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on video, I'm on video you are saying go, go to the point. But I'm sure on the DMs there are many people who have gone straight to the point, and they were blocked. No. <laughs> or maybe they were, you know, they were ignored or something of the sort. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, I like when someone is like, you know, straightforward. Mm. And if it's a yes, it's a yes. If it's a no, it's a no. Most guys don't know how to take a no. And they feel like, no, you know, I, they get I always agitated. feel like women like the cat and mouse type of stuff, you know, Chase, chasing of stuff. I think right now I'm going so behind. Mature. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm like, guys, I'm old. Um, you don't I'm think past that past. if someone comes straight off, it's not coming off too strong for you? No, for me it makes, it makes me feel like take you more of like a man who knows what they want, you know. It's not like, because when you come that way, it's not like you're really sure uh. if you want this or, you know, yeah. Anyway, back to <laughs> our video. <laughs> we are in Kisukiro. Yeah, Niboye. guys, we are walking in Kichukiro, Niboye. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. She's showing me around, guys. And I, now <laughs> around. And, I, and I told you guys, she she was like in in Kigali a year ago, but yeah. she did a lot of videos nice in videos. Kigali, so you can check her out. Your name is Gracie D. Yeah, Gracie. Your African diva. Hey. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> And she's looking beautiful, just Thank like a you. like a diva. Yeah, just yeah. go check me out on my channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know one thing I like about Kigali and your neighborhood. Yeah. I don't know if you can show them these. You see, guys, every street has a street number. Yeah. So let's say if someone sends you a package from uh. the state, I'm not sure. Or maybe anywhere. If I send a package from Kenya, yeah. Will it directly get to the to this address exactly. so let's say if i say kk 13 mm. oh. it will get to the to the yeah. house it will get to the house wow. what you do is you open a postal code mm -hmm. and then you register it with uh, 
with the street number yeah it's just like this one guys okay and then when you register it with the street number it will get to the kigali main postal office yeah and then they will deliver it to, to your house in nairobi <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> If I ask someone to deliver something for me, like for where I stay, it's a it's a hassle. Oh God, yeah. I have to like call the motorbike guy. Yeah. Like there is so easy. You just have to go straight to the post office. Oh, yeah. I hope Kenya in the future will have this. Actually, I went to Runda. Yeah. I think Runda is organized the same way to Yeah, that is Runda. <laughs> I think even like okay. It, well, listen, really? Gracie, actually some people, some Kenyan were coming for me mm -hmm. on my last video because I was saying that, uh, you know, in Kenya, mm -hmm. most of the time, mm -hmm. the trees are hiding where rich people are hiding. Because mm -hmm. in the neighborhoods where we have middle class people yeah, yeah. and uh, poor people, you can't see green pe green trees like this everywhere. It's when you go to Westlands, Runda, Karen. You know one thing about <laughs> one thing about Kenyans. Yeah. They are called keyboard warriors. They'll just watch you and they'll just, you know, uh -huh. come at you for it. Even if like you being positive, they'll still find something. Uh, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a, there are you. some people who but, are offended. Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. It's the truth. Like where I live, I don't see no trees, no. Yeah. But if I go to like Kilimani, some areas, the inside yeah, areas. Yeah, true, if true. I go to like, I've never been to Runda, yeah. but if I go to like, Westlands, those Lavington, places, yeah. yeah, those areas, they are always green. But yeah. let's go to Moza <laughs> <laughs> or a place it's, called Bika Road. It's like a concrete jungle, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very different. So, wow, yeah, guys, he's right. look at that. That is what we are talking about. Can Very you see beautiful. green trees just like that in Nairobi, And Kenya? the thing is, actually, do you know yeah. if you like walking, you can walk from here to the city center? Exactly. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's not it's, very far from the it's city. It's a bit, uh, you know, closer to the city center. Yeah. And uh, just tell them, you've been in Kigali. This is your second visit, right? Yeah. Is this the richest place in Kigali? You know, people might think we are in the richest neighborhood in Kigali. No. I'm actually in an area where I think you can find a place to stay for $15 a night. Yeah. Yeah, this is like... It's like a normal neighborhood. It's a normal neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, this with Nairobi, I would compare it with... Um, let me say... Um, Imaradaima. Yeah. Yeah. Imaradaima, Hama, Nairobi West. Yeah. Such neighborhoods. Uh -huh. So also you've been to Kigali. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want you to confirm this to my viewers. Yeah. Is it this uh, a coincidence? Is that this type of setup? You know, the street being paved, mm -hmm. the roads being clean. Yeah. The streets actually have numbers, guys, yeah. and the houses have addresses, and it's green everywhere. Can you say that it's everywhere in Kigali that you see greeneries, or it's just some some areas of Kigali? So guys, just to be like, it's not like I'm gisting or anything. Mm. I've actually also been outside Kigali. Yeah. Like I've gone to some interior parts of Rwanda. Yeah. And every is area is a green. Mm. The roads, like one thing, Rwanda they don't joke about their flowers, even like on the roadside, like yeah. even on the roads that they are considered highways. Yeah. They're is always flowers and they're always taken care of yeah. so not only in kigali that it's greener but yeah. like i would say 90 percent of the places that i've been to are greener wow. so it's not a lie like whatever you know i see people coming at Rwanda, oh you only show kigali yeah. and then, you know yeah. for me i'm here people who like these are people who are even watching that i've never been to this yeah. country True. and they'll be like you only show kigali you know, Kigali is very small. Trust other parts of Rwanda. I've mm. done videos of other parts of Rwanda. There are people who've done videos of other parts mm. of Rwanda. Yeah. And no one is lying because, guys, we're just showing you what you can see. It's you know, like, like, we're just like the last video, talking. people were saying that, oh, I'm showing the rich places. I'm in Kimirongo, bro. Kimirongo is not a rich Kimirongo neighborhood. Kimirongo is not even a rich neighborhood, oh, man. <laughs> Actually, like, Kimirongo is considered yeah. as a... It's you know, not even like like on the low side of middle mm, class neighborhood. Exactly. Not even in the middle middle exactly. class neighborhood. When when you are saying uh, talking about rich neighborhood, yeah. you go to places like Kibagabaga. Kibagabaga. You go to places like Kachiu. Gachuriro. Gachuriro. Nyarutarama. 
Nyaritara. Yeah. Vision Ma. City. Those are Kimihura. those are the Kimihuru. Yeah, yeah, true. Those are the rich neighborhoods, guys. I haven't even started doing rich neighborhoods rich yet. Neighborhoods, yeah. I'm just in normal oh, neighborhoods. Guys, guys thought that Kimihuru yeah. is a rich neighborhood. They were saying that oh, I'm showing people only the the rich neighborhood. Show us the ghettos. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I did a video of what's considered ghetto here in Rwanda. Yeah. That was in. Nyamirambo, the other side. Yeah, the other know? side. Yeah, true. Where, like, I went down, like, you're walking down the houses, yeah. and people were like on the comment section, "Is that a ghetto?" <laughs> <laughs> but that is Rwanda, guys. Yeah. You know. Like, and also one thing with Rwanda, we don't have like uh, the same type of ghettos that you get in Nairobi yeah. with uh, the iron sheets, you know, type of houses. Yeah, they are, they are yeah. like. They are like, you know, finishing that face of, you know, those uh, iron sheet houses yeah, or muddy yeah. houses in Rwanda. Yeah, Bana. that's that's what they expect you to to show as a ghetto. Yeah. But in Rwanda, when you show a ghetto, it's just houses that are disorganized because most of Kigali is organized. Yeah. It's just houses that are disorganized and also they don't look nice. Mm -hmm. They because they were built with, uh, with uh, you know, blocks that are mud. Yeah. yeah, they build them with uh, mud blocks. Mm -hmm. I, I can call them that mud blocks. Yeah, like but those made from clay. Yeah, yeah. clay soil actually. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. most of the houses we use bricks. Oh yeah. By the way, guys, one thing about Rwanda, we don't build with uh, cement blocks like Nairobi. Yeah. We build with bricks. We have uh, a lot of brick companies because uh, Rwanda is is actually huge. It, it has a lot of clay, clay soil. Yeah. So people use uh, bricks to build. In Nairobi, people use uh, the, the cement yeah. blocks. Yeah? yeah. But now the poor people they take that clay and so, they make clay blocks. So you don't have quarries in Rwanda. That's what you mean. Quarry, quarries like for quarries, you know where they for they, cement. No, the stones like the stones. You no, we have the stones. Bricks. You have seen even some streets in Rwanda. We have streets which have wow. uh, stones. Wow. Like, like, you know, mm -hmm. quarries in Kenya, what happens? Mm -hmm. If I decide, like, now I want to have a quarry around here, yeah, I'll have messed that land, I cannot stand there anymore because they dig the stones from underground. I've seen actually a place like that in, in a pipeline, a place yeah. called Quarry. Yeah, it's their quarry. quarries, yeah, where people just basically get stones. And I think we have, we have those type of areas yeah. where they mine even cement, okay. actually, oh. but now it's not in residential areas. It's oh. uh, far out, out of the city. Okay. So, but most people won't use uh, that for building. Maybe they'll mine it for cement. Okay. Yeah, for building, most of the times we use uh, the big bricks, okay. like those ones, These ones. or the, the small ones. The small ones. Yeah. Wow. And the small ones are even cheaper because they are more common. These big ones are considered to be a bit expensive. So, guys, let me tell you. Yeah why Rwanda or you know parts of like why people think that when he showed Kimironko mm. it's like a rich neighborhood or anything yeah I just learned from my friends that in Rwanda you just don't go ahead and build a house exactly <laughs> like in Kenya I'll just wake up one day and decide oh I want to have a two-bedroom house here yeah you guys know? you know in Rwanda if I buy this uh, this like this plot of land I have to go to the to the city yeah. commissioner and ask them for a plan of this area. And they have and, to uh, come and yeah, approve. And approve. It might be like the plan might be this area is not planned to have a residential house. Yeah. It's, it must be a commercial building. Mm -hmm. So I can't build a residential. If I exactly. build a, a residential house, they will actually demolish it. Yeah. So that's how. So that's why the building. place is so organized, and that's why everyone is like, "Oh no, this is a rich neighborhood." No, they yeah. just don't come and build houses here. That is something I learned. Like that was something new for me. We just yeah. don't come and build houses here. Yeah. And I think that's why most uh, architectures are they yeah. called architectures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if you're an architect, you would like really make pretty good uh, money here in Rwanda. Architect, Rwanda. I think. Eh? Yeah, architect or yeah. whatever they call them. Yeah. Those people who like design houses <laughs> i feel like we would make pretty good, good money, money actually from yeah, here true, because true. they take it very serious in kenya i would just yeah. like be like you know but i think also it's a, it's a very nice idea because uh, 
architecture doesn't end only at designing the house. Yeah. You should also plan the city, mm -hmm. the way it should be, yeah. the boards, the, the gutters. Like you see, like, you know, at the other side, I don't know if you can see, we have yeah, a gutter. Yeah, that's the gutter, yeah. Yeah, for drainage. You know, Papa says when it rains, and uh, you won't get muddy and floods and all, all that stuff. And then you leave some places for greeneries. Yeah. You can see, like, we have small grasses and gardens and trees all over so it's a nice thing and actually guys she's not rwandan she's kenyan yes <laughs> and uh, it's Kanaira. yeah and uh, also me me saying this on the kimirongo video people thought maybe i'm just over praising the countries and all that mm. we still have maybe places which are not rich but it's not worse even places which are not rich really. tell us is it dirty really Okay, for the for the uh, clean le cleanliness part, yeah, they always have this thing called umuganda. Yeah, every last Saturday of the month, yeah, from eight to around eleven, mm. all shops are closed. No buses, like they are all out cleaning their country. Exactly. This is not only in Kigali, but yeah. even other parts of Rwanda. Mm. That is a law here in Rwanda every yeah. last Saturday of the month. Yeah. For some houses of I've seen like I've seen several YouTubers who've done other videos who have like you know people who are still like you know trying to catch up with the current yeah, you know the, yeah, developments that's yeah. going on. Of mm. course it takes time. Sometimes yeah. it's not everyone who has that money to like yeah. you know it's not like everyone in Rwanda is rich or yeah, anything. True. There are all, of course people who are going through a hard time yeah, and maybe building a beautiful uh, you know, today's house to them is not, it's not their number one priority because they have kids to take to school and everything else. Yeah. But for the most parts that I've seen, people are, like, they, really, they have pretty houses here. That yeah. is something that I've experienced. And, yeah. But if you see otherwise, tell us on the comment section because we've not been to those areas. Yeah, the cool. only area that I saw, like, you know, houses that are like, uh, the way we used those old, uh, bricks that we used to make in the village the mud bricks yeah the mud yeah, bricks, yeah. i've seen such but the way they still make them they also still make them yeah. look more you know more attractive big, yeah. Yeah, like more for big. example they can build with the mud brick yeah. but now they will lay over the cement like, the cement top. like this one okay. now you won't you won't actually know that inside there there is a mud there brick. is a mud <laughs> yeah i saw that with one oh, shop yeah, uh, at an, another place oh, yeah. But that one side was coming out and I was surprised. Yeah, oh, that's actually a man house. Yeah. So you might find out like it's laid with the cement like this yeah. and inside it's a mud actually. It's a mud. Oh, yeah. So that is how they hide like, you know, they're trying to make it, you know, look nice and yeah. presentable mm -hmm. so that you won't know that it's a mud brick exactly. that it was. But now in Kigali, it's actually against the law to build with a, with a mud, mud brick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so if you build with that, they'll come and demolish. But those those houses which were built before, you know, they still uh, they still allow them if they are in the ghetto. But in a neighborhood like this one, I can. And when he says ghettos, yeah. hey, he doesn't mean ghettos like Kibra, like the ones we have in Nairobi or yeah. other parts of the yeah. world. You know? yeah. They are like. I went to did a video there and people came at me. Why are you calling this place a ghetto? And I'm like, I was told by a local that this is a this ghetto. Is a, this is the ghetto. So what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm not from here. They know their ghettos are better than I do. Yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Kindly go subscribe to Gracie B. Yeah. Okay. Gracie D, the African diva. The African diva right there. Yeah. <laughs> also subscribe to my channel. Drop a comment, guys. Tell us what you think about the Rwandan type of, uh, you know, neighborhoods and yeah. all that stuff. And let me know the next neighborhood that you want me to visit. See you on the next one. Bye.